Welcome back. You know, I'll never forget the conversation I had with a mortgage lender in the months after the financial meltdown back in 2008. We talked about the unethical lenders who would write loans to people who couldn't afford to make the payments. That lender told me his ethics kept him from writing those loans and he'd watch the home buyers walk out the door to the competition. Like anything, if you look around the landscape, you're going to see most of the unethical lenders are out of business. Ethics and integrity are key to success. Andrea Anderson with Castle and Cook Mortgage joins us to talk about what it takes to take the high road. Andrew, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, so yeah. first, let's let's talk about Castle and Cook, who you are, where you are, and, and, and how long you've been in business. We've been in the Valley for six years, but it's been way longer than that, mm. but in the Valley for six years. And Castle and Cook's awesome. I don't know what else to say. They're, when they say they're fast, they are fast. We're talking about after you get your um, contract accepted on purchasing a home, 10 to 14 days, you're done. Refinances, seven to 10 days. On the streamlines that we'll probably get to later, seven days. So it is quick. It is fast. Okay. Yeah. We're talking about this idea of ethics in the industry and we definitely saw unethical practices really take down the whole home buying industry. Um, yep. What are some of the, tell me some specific stories or a specific story about a tough ethical decision that your office had to make, somebody in your office had to make and the outcome? Um, well, for me, Personally, ethically, when especially new, first-time home buyers, it's really important um, for me and the others in the office that they really know what they're getting into. You're not just getting into a loan. There's other bills that you're going to have with having a home, you know. And if you're it's not shoving a stack of papers in front of you saying "sign here, everything's fine." Sign Let's get here, this and this is what you qualify for. The other thing is, is how you qualify for a loan. Technically, you qualify off your gross income. That is not what you make. Mm. You make net income. You know, people need to realize that this is a big, what they're stepping into is a big deal, and I want people to love their homes. They don't walk away from things that, that they're in love with, and that's just good business. And so the idea behind this show is to help business owners implement uh, some of these ethical uh, actions in order to have, mm -hmm. find success. So what are, you mentioned some of the things that you're doing to be sure that home buyers are well aware, but what are some of the checks and balances that you have in place in your office that other business owners could say, hey, that's a great idea. That's something I can implement to be sure that I'm educating my customer and, and helping them make good decisions. Yeah. And in, in our office, we actually have an open office um, I guess you'd say, Paul, like we have no doors. There's no door shut. Of course, if clients are coming in, there's other clients, you know, we want to keep privacy, up yeah, privacy, but um, I guess you'd call them, you know, when we make our calls and stuff like that, we, we do hear each other. We hold each other to a high standard. So there's an accountability factor. There is totally accountability factor. I know what you're saying. And if it's not true and trust me, people have come and gone because I'll hold you to it, mm -hmm. you know, because my name is with Castle and Cook and I'm going to make sure that that stays good. So what open. I hear you saying, it's an overall transparency and openness, oh, it is. which lends itself to accountability within the office. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's a good, and we could help each other, you know, everybody in the office has a little bit more experience in certain areas. So, when we hear each other talking, we could help each other. You know, somebody um, gets a call on a program that somebody else has more experience in, they could help you. You know, I had one yesterday, a client was at my desk and it wasn't, it wasn't something that we needed a privacy for. So the other lady in the office, she's like, start, it came in and helped. She's like, who's on the title? Who, you know, like, like stuff like this that relied on the expertise. Uh, absolutely. Okay. So Andrea Anderson, Castle and Cook Mortgage. Folks want to find you. They can find you online. Online. Yeah. In the, um, the web address is uh, castlecookmortgage.com. All right. Very yep. good. Andrea Anderson, yep. thank you so much for being with us today.